Looking at a side that had that superb win over the Crusaders last week, rising young hooker Suwani Vikena gets a start in the front row alongside Tonga Fasi and Renata. Tui Polotu was excellent in his return from injury last week, teaming up with McQuannell at lock. Anton Segna and Adrian Choate each get an opportunity in the loose with Satutu again at number eight. Finally, Christy plays his 50th for the Blues, while Stephen Petalfetta at first five hit top form a week ago. Bryce Heem is the mainstay in the middle. Rico Ioane returns. Corey Evans makes his first appearance at fullback with electric wingers Clark and Thalia. Off the bench, Ricky Riccatelli plays his 100th Super Rugby match. Oh, well, talo falava, Ricky. And a heavy defeat at the hands of the Brumbies last week for the opponents, the Moana Pacifica. That's brought about four changes for them this week. Let's have to take a look up front. Well, Hooker Sam Malolo, he's back to start alongside Props Bully and Mafilio. Significant height in the locks department. Tom Savage returns to resume his partnership with Alan Craig. 24, that's how many defenders. Blockbusting number eight, Lotu Anissi has beaten this year, the highest of the competition. So much running, rule well, riding really on the efficiency of this combination, Inari and Lelia Fano. They will understand the need to, to dominate. Boost in the midfield, Julian Savia, he's back in Jersey 12. And to the back three, uh, Wong and Tuala, that fullback and right wing. Straight swap on the left though, Inisi, he's back. And Tamoy fo uh, full out, dropping to the bench. Speaking of the bench though, nice wee balance here for coach Tana Uma, experience and flair, Kipu and Havili in particular conceded the fewest points, conceded the fewest tries, but a key element of their game has been a really effective line-out. And plenty of stars on show for them, and one who has been consistently reliable and dynamic. Underway, the Blues in their white away strip. Moana Pasifika wearing their heritage jerseys for the first time as Fene Emisi brings it in, struggling his way towards the line. Christie again just picks out his runners. It's still play on. Pedal Fetter tidies up. There for him. He gets away from Patafilo. And now looks to release the Lea with a beautiful wide oh, ball. Sorry, the pressure built. And Mark De Lea on the end of it for the Blues. Oh, Telea will score the first points of the game. From here, Pedal Fetter shows some good. Bit of work, we will always check it, okay? and then yep. he yep. over the top yep. and pedal fetter to too hard to stop. To Sorry, defense. to lay out too hard to stop from there. Yeah. Well, the Blues demonstrating that they can play across the full width and a counter attack. As you've mentioned, Mills, we saw Caleb Clark warming up before the game, and he looks in very, very good condition. And here's just the end of it. It's too easy for Talia. He'll score that any day of the week. But the work across the park, and they turn the ball over the forwards and backs. Getting over the advantage line, giving good ball to Christie. Conversion slotted easily from Pedal Feta, so it is the Blues who strike first. 14 minutes gone at Eden Park. Down the back they go to Tui Pulotu. Quick ball off the top for the Blues to launch from. Satutu's wrapped up in a good tackle around the ankles by his opposite, Inisi. He's choked. Here comes Christie again for McQuannell. Again, it's Pulotu and Isi with the tackle. Motui Pulotu, the captain. He made quite the return from injury last week in his 100th. And there's a hole for Peter Feta that Christie just opened up for him. And Peter Feta slicing through, easy and under the post. Oh, the ball just screwed it out, didn't it? And there's a nice little wee hold there. I wonder whether Christie's hand got to that and knocked it on. He picked it up straight away on that inside channel. No, looks okay. Nice little wee snipe from Christie to draw in that defender. And well worked. A great adjustment from Peter Fetter as well. He could see that where the hole was and he timed it perfectly as he does. But some nice lead up work as well, especially from these Blues forwards, their captain in particular. Six from six last week for Stephen Petalfetter. And two from two so far for the Blues this afternoon. He converts his own try and the Blues go out 14 points to nil after 23 minutes at Eden Park. Set! Inari. Use it now! Surveys the options. Here it is for Lelia Funnel. He's got Savia on the inside, goes to the line himself, does.
Elia Farnell strokes it through the uprights and the first points on the board for Moana Pasifika. 28 minutes gone as the Blues leading 14 points to three. Brings down the restart. Is Finney and Nisi. Bit of room. And sideways bounces out of one defender. Can't get past another. Hold on. Amelia Funnel clears it high. Clark covered it well. Wanna Pasifika try and blow through here though. And they've done really Turnover well. Turnover is good. Turnover is good. A couple of times they've caught the blues. On the counter ruck, Yanari for Norris. Up towards halfway, go Moana Pasifika again. Amelia Funnel, with the back for Patafilo. Tipped on Avili Talitui to keep the ball in hand. Savage no way through, just stuck on this halfway line at the moment. One of looking to punch away through, but Inari instead is going to send it up Two. once more. Chases there in the form of Savia coming underneath it, but again, Pedro Feta comes forward. He's been as safe as houses under that high ball so far this afternoon, and now the Blues look to counter through. Oskin Satutu has been a powerhouse offload for Clark, speaking of power and pace, and he's going to weave his way around. Defends with ease. Caleb Clark strikes to the line. Too easy for Clark. Hoskins to 2 2. Well, it all started really from Pedro Fete. He got some good protection. The line just gets bigger. No problems again for Pedro Fete. He's had a heavy hand in all the tries, scoring one as well. But this one's Caleb Clark's. And the Blues go out 21 points to three. Matui Pelotu up towards the 22. Blues looking to press again here. Fancy a fourth before half time. One the Pacifica. They're all having a scramble as Delia has just dropped it cold. Roll! Oh, didn't have to scramble at all, Pacifica. Balls here. You still have advantage for a knock on. Navili Talitui. Maybe get a chance their arm here. One the Pacifica. Toala. Has to drive it down to Evans. Little fitter again, Heen. Just trying to charge his way, bust his way through the middle. The veteran midfielder streaking away. Solo effort through a couple of defenders. Bryce Heen gets the Blues fourth. Oh, gee, that was something out of nothing, wasn't it? From Bryce Heen, Corey I'm Evans, saying, but I think the to oh, Pedro Fetter. There's the nothing stuff. really on, just a couple of big boys. He just puts the foot down straight through those two tacklers. A right foot step, and he's under the post. Well, Mills, I'm putting this down to kicking. We talked about Pedro Fetter's kicking and the way he can clear the line and his timing as he kicks. This is off a kick from Juana Pasifika. And you talked about Evans and that nice wide pass. There's been a number of kicks that the Blues now have taken advantage of. Impact, but we don't need to milk it, okay? They're out to the side, let them roll. Blues with a fourth try. Signet. He's put a couple of big shots on in defence, brings it back for them. Renata. Now leave that, guys. Holding. Pedro Federal look to clear. To well, look back yep, to field it once more. Becky comes at them, running hard at the line through one defender. Almost slipped off a second, finds a Nessie. Oh, a little in and away! Oh. And the ball was there. Still there for Havili Talitui, though. And Moana Pasifika will break out and score from the kickoff. Oh, what a counter attack from Moana Pasifika. Here it is here. Show the ball. Bit of footwork once again. Christie falls over well, and loses a bit of there. But how about the support play of yeah. Havili Tali Tuli? Thank you. This is pretty good here. This one. Look at this footwork here. 
bang off the left and off the right. That is brilliant to watch. And then the, the captain picking up the pieces. Well, they had to get over the line to make sure that this half wouldn't get away on them. There's the signal miss. And this is where they're better. Ball in hand. That's great footwork. Well, we were so busy lamenting that the pass hadn't connected with Savia. We didn't see the skipper. And it's blue. The Blues who go into the sheds with the lead. 28 points to 8 at half time at Eden Park. <laughs> Christian Vialiafano for Moana Pacific. It gets us underway in the second half. The Blues now looking into that San. And it's Ha Wong who got up there to claim the kickoff for the home team. The Blues break out, break out again. Pasifika having a scramble back. Dwala. Oh, and now there's problems again for a player on the left. Is that Heem down it. taking the hit? Yeah, this physical match taking a toll of a few guys. Pedal Fetel run it back. Christy for McQuannell. Christy, out the back they go, and there's a hole from Forbes. Cuts through one, up the middle for Finlay Christy, a try in his 50th. Really nice from the Blues here. It was patience. They got themselves out of their own half initially. An opportunity. And a mismatch, they break through. This is where a little bit of razzle happens. They lost their way a little bit. And Moana scrambled really well. As they get that ball back here. Oh, this guy here. Man, he had, you mentioned he's had a good game last week. Nice little offload on that inside, Ben Castle. Brilliantly done. Yeah, lovely finish. Coming in from depth and a bit of pace. And you see the extras added. Got the Blues. They line up once more. Here's Adrian Choate again. And now, therefore, Vekena runs smack into Malolo. Still, they keep coming. Ioane's turn this time. Around once more for his older brother, Akira Ioane. Gets rid of a couple of defenders. Forbes will scoop up the loose ball on the floor. Still pressing up the Blues. And there's the hole for McGonnell to try and charge through. Stretch, pops the pass for Rico Ioane, just short. Moana Pasifika scrambled D on the goal line. Now Chotu's been in the thick of the action. He can't find the way through. Delia in close, and Delia over. Pressure, 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 and Mark Delia scores. Well, two key men here, really, for me, as the drivers. And one of them was Christy. Roll on. It has to come away with Riccatelli. And now Delia always goes looking for work. Coming off his wing and getting through two or three defenders. Just powering the legs. Mark Delia. That one again overthrown. It's been an issue once more. But Savia quickest to the bouncing ball. And now uses some of that strength we know he has. Chance here for Moana Pasifika. Another one. Fire carries forward this time, but it's been pinched away again from the Blues. Those last moment interventions have worked well, and again they'll look to open up. Clark just dragged down by Harvelli. And now Riccatelli crawls and crimps his way an extra end, pops a lovely little ball for Berry on the shoulder. Looking in good flow now, the Blues after some clunkier moments in the no first side. half. Ioane gets a lovely ball from Forbes, and now Satsutu with open territory, and on the end of the chain is Mark Delia, who gets his third hat-trick on the board for the Blues flyer. Ruthless from the Blues. And that's their defence. Line-out throw just on his own side of halfway for Ricky Riccatelli. It's overthrown and it's going to land for Milani Mataval. Here's they scoot away. Mataval will go out over the side oh, and that'll be it for a dominant performance from the Blues at Eden Park. They continue winning ways, even though they were technically playing away from home today.